What's up? I was beginning to think that you didn't get the courage to come and say hi. <laughs> yes, now that you know. By the way, I'm Clinton. Hi, I'm Jane. Nice to meet you, Clinton. What a cool, lovely name <laughs> for a lovely black angel made in heaven like you. <laughs> Mr. Clinton, um, you can't easily get me a flat food. So if that doesn't get you, tell me what does. You're actually married. I'm divorced. Then why do you put on the ring, the wedding ring? Okay, let me say you're still in love with your ex. Actually, it's to scare predators like you away. <laughs> I just love your sense of humor. So, can we get to know each other some more? Okay. Here's my card. Yeah, take it. Please. Wow. <laughs> and please, give me a call, please. Maybe. Please don't keep me waiting for so long, okay? I'll Take see care you. of yourself, okay? Bye. Just chilling. You know what, Celine? Yeah, I want to celebrate in a elaborate fashion way, you know? Make it known to the world that I am divorced, free, and happy. Okay. So, what do we have in mind? Mm -hmm. Let's say we target a ring mover. Party. <laughs> or a divorce after party. Yes! What? Yes, I think that would be great. <laughs> now you have totally lost the girl. Hey, what? <laughs> a divorce after party. You or a ring serious. remover party. <laughs> You're never going to believe this, but my cousin Jane came up with the dumbest idea this time. Listen, sweetheart. There's nothing your cousin Jane will come up with that will ever surprise me. I think since she got divorced, she lost a screw in the head. Oh, come on. Don't start now, Kunle. You have to appreciate the fact that Jane has finally been able to get over the trauma of her divorce. Hence her decision to host a ring removal party. A what? I beg your pardon? <laughs> a ring removal party. Unbelievable, I know. But the truth is that ever since Jane's divorce, she wasn't able to remove her wedding ring, probably due to some sentimental attachment. But yesterday she did it. She actually removed it and now she wants to celebrate. Celebrate? What's there to celebrate? Why are you making it look like it's something interesting or, or what? You know what? I think your cousin should be ashamed of herself for allowing her marriage to fail in the first instance. How can you say such a thing, Kunle? Jane's husband was unfaithful to her. You know that. He... Nothing, Celine. The next thing you know now, she'll start hopping from one man to the other. Like a slot. You know what all these divorces are up to. Oh, but that's so unfair. No. You know what I think? You shouldn't be close to that your cousin anymore. Hmm? Because she's bound to corrupt you. You know what they say? Birds of the same feather, they flock together. What? Please spare me all that your gem cousin or whatever. I'm seeing a football match. Don't spoil my phone. I know you don't like it. 
Anyways, you know what? I have more interesting thing to do in the bedroom. Kule, are you walking out on me because of this? Kule, this is not, this is not nice. Girl, oh my god, I can't wait for you to see my cake. It is so sensational, I swear. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'll get to see it on the D-Day, right? Yeah, of course you would. Celine, mm -hmm. come on, what's wrong? You don't sound too excited. Never mind, Jane. I'm just a little upset as all. Well. How come? What happened? It's nothing really. Just that I thought Kunle would find the idea of your ring removal party amusing. And I went to open my big mouth and told him. I guess you had a fit of self-righteous ignition when you heard about my party, right? No, not just that. His reaction completely stunned me. He blew his top. You know, it's really amazing how men tend to take each other's sides, even in the worst situation. That's because they're all the same. All men are cheats. Period. You know, and they do not deserve any woman's trust. My friend, better take heed and make hay when the sun shines. Jane, what exactly is that supposed to mean? What I'm saying is that you're better off dating a wealthier man who will, like, reward you handsomely when you render services to him than waste your time on a poor guy whose relationship will end up going nowhere. What? I can't even believe the words that are coming out from your mouth. Have you conveniently forgotten that I'm not just in a relationship? Kunle and I are engaged and we plan to tie the knot as soon as he finds a well-paying job. Mm. Mm. Hello ladies and ladies, I want to appreciate all of you for honoring my invitation tonight and by coming to my ring removal party. Trust me, I am so happy at the feeling that I am free at last. Not just from the shackles of marriage, but from the unfair control of men who are too short-sighted to appreciate what they have. Yep. Yep. So, if you all join me tonight by cutting my cake, I will really appreciate it. Please be on your feet. to cut this beautiful cake with free F-F-R-R-E -E. Can I get an E? e. Don't go there. You know what? Let me go back. Down there. Oh, man. 
you know what I mean? Take your second shot. Second shot. <laughs> Guy, I've, I've been wondering. Have you heard the news buzzling all over town? What news is that? Uh, I haven't, I haven't heard. Well, uh, I wouldn't know how you're going to take this. What's that? I actually heard that your ex-wife threw a party last night, and she targeted a a ring removal party or something of sort. A what? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I was wondering myself, because I've never he heard that before. Not a woman getting happy for leaving her husband's home, unless, uh, of course, the husband was a mean idiot, that the woman should be happy having her freedom. <laughs> Screw you, Frank. Can you play? Can you play? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. Uh, I'm sorry, but I mean the whole thing is hilarious. I don't even see why she would do such a party. It just doesn't make sense. You know, okay, for instance, what if we decide to patch things up? Then what? Will she throw another party? Telling her friends that we are back together again? It doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe she'll call that a a patching things up party or an after divorce reconciliation party. So stupid. It's but, 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 but come on, man. What? Are you thinking of patching things up with your I ex? didn't say that. And I'm not sure what I said implies that at all. And you're missing the point. Point is, she threw the party just to tarnish my image. That's it, plain and simple. Take it easy, boy. You know? And, and, and uh, to think that she used the alimony money that I paid to throw that damn party. Cool. Biting the hand that feeds her. Hold it. Will you? Of course you and I know that you hurt your ex so badly. I mean, she doesn't allow all these things that she's trying. I mean, don't get so offended. It's obvious that she's trying to get back at you. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. As if I am the only man who has ever cheated on his wife. And you wait, wait till your wife finds out that you have a baby mama tucked up in the duplex somewhere in the city and see how it feels like to be at the end of a scorned woman's venom. You feel, you feel the energy now? Hmm? Bob. That was a low blow, and you know it. Play. Play, please. How are you doing, Jane? I couldn't be better, obviously. Obviously, indeed. Why won't it be obvious, after lavishing my money on that useless party of yours, you will feel great? Excuse me? Yeah, Jay. What were you trying to pull? What? Were you just trying to disgrace me? That stupid party, as you termed it, happened to be me saying good readers to bad rubbish for condemning all those years living with you. And for your information, please dissuade yourself from the idea that I was trying to disgrace you because you cease to exist in anything that I do long ago. Put that into a thick skull. Are you guys fighting again? No, Victor, we're just exercising our wind pipes. Can we go now? Okay. Yeah, sure, let's go. Something is wrong somewhere. Yeah. There is lies to see okay. and cheating All right. everywhere. How are things? You having fun? Yes. Ready to play football? Yes. Right. Even when it shouldn't be. Oh, and has no reason to be. Oh, yeah. Yet it is what could be a mess. Said yet it is what could be a mess. Yes. So, where's the patties?
<laughs> Wait a second. You mean this is the package you're talking about? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god, I don't believe it. Well, ma, you have to believe it. Actually, this car was brought from our company in your name. All you have to do is to go inside there, sign this paper, and the car is yours. <laughs> this is some kind of joke, right? No. Celine, please tell me that I'm not dreaming right now. Please don't tell me to tell you anything because I am in deep shock myself. My God, who is Clinton? Is this guy crazy or something? See, trust me, I'm speechless right now. I am so speechless, I cannot scream. <laughs> You mean Clinton got this car from me? Wow! <laughs> oh my days. Really? <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. It's beautiful. Wow. It is. Can you have the keys? Thank you.
to be together for better for us. Connie. Yeah. Are you like serious here or is it a kind of trick? Oh no, this is no trick. Believe me, okay? So relax, you relax your mind, okay? Come on, baby, let's go and eat, okay? Give me a kiss. Give me a shot. <laughs> Come. Let's eat. Come. Come, baby. Come here. Sit down. Sorry, I'm, I'm, sit, sit, I'm, sit. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I, oh. I'm sorry about everything. Oh. I'm going to serve you like marking. Oh, God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss before that. Mm -hmm. It was needful that I come. Let me say it was an emergency. Emergency? What kind of emergency? I mean, is everything okay with you? Are you sick or something? Benson, it is you that something is wrong with. What? <laughs> it is you that something is wrong with. What are you talking huh? about? A man in his right sense would never do this. Pinson, is this the multi-millionaire business you came to do in Lagos? Is this the multi-millionaire business you came to establish in Lagos? Babe, babe, just calm down, okay? Let me explain. Just calm down. Explain what? Explain <laughs> what you owe. What do you have to explain? Pinson, what do you have to explain? I was there in Abuja planning for our political wedding. It is for both of us. And you're here. Benson, you're here having a child and celebrating a child dedication over there in social media. Benson, are you not ashamed of yourself? Enough, Karen. What's the talk of being ashamed anyway? It's not like I cancelled the wedding. All I did is live up to my responsibility as a man. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Benson, check. live up to your responsibility. Is this what you call live up to your responsibility, Benson? Yes. Look at you. Just look at you. You can't even apologize to me. You're so proud, you're so proud that you can't even apologize. Come on, you and I know that in this mood you are right now, apology will do no good, so there's no need for me to apologize. Selim, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? How could you do this to me, Kule? Well, I, I, I thought you never wanted to have anything to do with me again. Besides, I, I, I figured it is best I dump you first before you follow your cousin's footsteps to dump me. What?
to me. I'm so sorry. I really am. But you know, I hate to say, I hate to say this, but I told you so. I told you that Kuli was up to no good. And he had the effrontery to tell me it was better he dumped me than have me dump him. Can you believe that, Jay? You know, in a way he's right about that. Because if you had only listened to what I had told you about him, that idiot would have been here licking his own wounds by now. So what are you saying? Is it my fault now that I decided to commit to a relationship because I loved my man? Was I wrong to love and choose to be faithful to that love? My dear, men with the same ideology of faithfulness as you have do not exist in this planet Earth again. So we women need to wisen up. Oh, Jane, would you please drop the dark humor? My heart is broken here, you know. I'm so sorry. Listen, tell me, how did you end up going to his house? I thought you guys were not in talking terms. Well, I had gone to apologize and make up. He wasn't forthcoming? Well, I love him. Love him, love him. And I was missing him, all right? Relax, relax. I didn't say anything, did I? I'm stupid, Jane. You could as well say it. Hey, do you know that I went to a men's boutique to get that ungrateful wretch some designer shirts just to placate him? You did what? God, Celine! What on earth would you do that for? Even if that guy was the last man on this earth, he's not worth it. I hope you brought back those t-shirts. I'm afraid I forgot them as I was fleeing the scene. Huh? I beg, the same way you flee out of that house, flee back and go and retrieve those t-shirts. Okay? I mean, how can you be broken, cheat? Man is worth it. Something is wrong somewhere When there is lies, deceit and cheating everywhere mm -hmm. Even when it shouldn't be oh, Hello, how no are you? Uh, madam You're okay? Come back, madam Thank you very much Um, are you busy? No, madam, just to watch some few clothes for us. Or can I help you with anything? Madam. Okay, no, that's okay for now. Yeah, you can finish up, yeah? But when, you, when you're when done, meet me inside. I want you to help me and bring down heavy objects, okay? Okay, mm? madam. Okay, so see you later, yeah? Don't, don't take too long, okay? All right. Okay, bye. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, Uche, <laughs> you're just right here on time. Come here, come, come. I want you to help me and apply this cream on my back. But madam, I can't apply this cream on your back now. But, but madam, where is the heavy object you said you, you, you sent me to? Come on, Uche, you're not a small boy now, eh? Just relax, chill, okay? Mm. You know what? Hmm? Come on, listen to me. Come on. You know exactly what I want from you. Hmm? Yeah. Well, just relax, okay? See, I have an inch, and I want you to help me scratch it. Listen, OJ, come on. I promise to reward you handsomely. That's only if you do. Mm -hmm. oh. If this inch is what I'm thinking it is, then cut me out. I can't do this into my girl, madam. Oh, come on. In fact, madam, is that this into I got to scratch you now? Uh -uh. Allow me to go. <laughs> You're going nowhere, Uchi. See, let me tell you. It's going to be your word against mine. And if you're not careful, I'm going to tell Oga that you came to his room to rape his wife. So you better cooperate with me. No, madam. Hey. No, 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 that is not true now, madam. Let me now. Come, let me take a Come here. <laughs> Come no, man, that is not true. No, that is not. 
Why is it so difficult to stay faithful And so easy to be ungrateful You say you were loyal But you're so disloyal Good So I want you to be a good boy when you get to your dad's place, okay? Hi Victor So this is what it is Where Victor mentioned it earlier on But I thought he was joking Excuse me, are you referring to me? Damn it, you're pregnant, are you not? Obviously I am. Would you mind your luggage? There's a minor here. Victor, go and wait for me in the car, okay? I'll be with you. Stupid tramp. I hope for one second you're not thinking in your mind that I'm going to provide you with any allowance once you carry that bastard of yours. I will not give you any money. <laughs> Timmy, let go of me. Hurting is less than what you deserve. You deserve to burn in hell. Oh, get over yourself. Who gave you the moral right to come here and preach me after what you did to me? How dare you? Look, I don't care whatever you say. I refuse to be used by you. Listen, don't make me Go to hell! You will never see Victor in your life again. If you dare me. Trust me. You look very different. You mean I look pregnant, Clinton? I didn't think you would have gone ahead with that. Well, you thought wrong, Clinton. Oh, is that why you decided to leave the country for so many months? I'm not a coward and I would never be. Oh, well, sorry. Because that's what it looked like to me. Notwithstanding, since Mohammed couldn't go to the mountain, the mountain has decided to come. It's time you lived up to your responsibility, Clinton. Unless you want your political ambition nipped in the bud. So, what are you talking about? I heard you are planning to run for the office of your state governor. Mm hmm. You know what a story it would be if people find out that you have abandoned a pregnant concubine of yours somewhere. <laughs> And how scandalous will it be when your wife finds out about a little hot romance? Are you by any means threatening me? No. I only want the man of my unborn baby to live up to his responsibility. Clint, you know, it's a shame that I have to force you to do the right thing. I thought you were much more of a man than that. It's a shame that I have to force you to do this, Clinton. But hey, a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do. See you. Hey, you know where to find me if they need me. Bye-bye. I take it you're no longer angry about the pictures I posted on Instagram? No, Valeria. I'm not here for all of that. I'm still mad at you. Really? Benson, are you saying I should be quiet over the threat on my life and that of my son? For goodness sake, this is our child we're talking about here. Yes, I know. And that's the reason why I can't stop being his father. But. This has to end here. What? You heard me, Valeria. I made a promise to both of you that I will take care of you. And I'm a man of my word. I'm not going to break that. But I have a life with Karen and we're moving on. Well, it's all right. I, I am really going to miss you, Benson. Um, I swear, I have never groveled at any man's feet before. And I would begin with you. 
Well, in that case, I have to thank you for not making this any more difficult. I'm, I'm really going to miss you, Benson. I will. But thank God for little mercies. At least you are not abandoning my son and I. Or would you stop catering for us? I'll have my lawyer contact you on Monday. With an agreement of sort, you're my son. I'll still go and be provided for. No. Traveling allowances, we'll drop allowance, everything. You don't have to worry about nothing. It'll be fine. Well, thank you very much. I take it that we hear from your lawyer on Monday. Yeah, you will. Well, I guess it's goodbye. Um, um, um I will miss you. Can I just get a hug before you go? children are raised and this cannot be an exception. Have you forgotten I already have a son? What happens to him? You can travel with him if you want. I'm willing to cover the expenses and you both can live in one of my apartments in New York. What exactly? If I'm going to relocate to the US at your bidding, then you're going to have to buy me a house in my name. I don't care where in the US, it can be anywhere. What I can't have is you coming back one day and throwing me and my baby out on the streets. That's very really hard. I call it good survival and instant. All right, I got it. Can I have a kid to see the deal? <laughs> You're not serious, Clinton, are you? <laughs> I'm serious. You know, I can't go, I can't go empty like that. <laughs> You're really looking beautiful. So how is baby doing? <laughs> to you, dearest cousin, and to mission accomplished. Mission accomplished indeed. <laughs> You know, I'd have preferred to give a toast with a glass of champagne, but I guess I'll make do with this water. Considering the baby I have in here, you know, I have to be of good behavior because it's my lucky charm. Yeah, true. So seriously, you're going to be relocating to the United States? I'm going to miss you terribly. <laughs> Hey, have you thought about what Bob's reaction would be if he finds out that you plan to travel with Victor? Who says he needs to know? What? Jane, are you saying that you don't plan on telling Bob that you're going to be living permanently in the United States with his son? Nope. Come on, that's not fair. Have a heart now, will you? Bob is certainly going to be devastated at the thought of not having to see his son for a very long time. Or oh, maybe never, right? Come on. It's not like Victor is going to be Bob's only child. Bob is definitely going to remarry and have lots of children. You know, I'm actually doing Bob a favor. How so? Well, with me going to the States, that stops Bob from paying his alimony. Coupled with the fact that 
Victor is going to go to one of the best schools in America and get the best of education at another man's expense. Don't you think I'm giving Bob a better bargain? More than that boyfriend of yours with his designer t-shirts. Because <laughs> I really don't want to come out. Something is from somewhere. Kunle, kunle. When there is lies, deceit and cheating everywhere. Mm -hmm. Even when it shouldn't be. Oh, and has no reason to be. Oh yeah. Yet it is what could be a mess. Said yet it is what could be a mess. Why is it so difficult to stay faithful? And so easy to be ungrateful. You say you are loyal, but you're so disloyal. You say you only Moses! Susanna! Oh no, hell no, hell no. Have you condescended this law? Ah! Ah! Su ah! What are these luggage for, Susan? Frank, you must agree with me that at this point, it's not logical that I leave. You wouldn't want to live with an adulterous wife and not one caught in the act in our matrimonial bed. Is that so? <sighs> so how about our daughter? What do I tell her? You can tell her anything, but never the truth, Frank. Tell her that I traveled indefinitely or that I ran away, anything, Frank. At this point, I can ask you for anything. That I want our daughter to remember me for the good mother I've been to her. That is not the way. No. Please, Frank, don't ask me to stay. Because I cannot face her. When I said that is not the way, I never meant that I should leave. I want you to stay back and we sort things out. Yes. You caught me in the act of adultery, Frank. I know. <sighs> I wouldn't stand here to say that it didn't hurt me. You wounded my soul, Susan. You hurt me so badly. But you remember you gave me a second chance. And I'm willing to give it a second chance too. What? Yes. This is all my fault, Susan. I know deep down inside me that you are not a bad woman. You did what you did to revenge. Too far. I think I went too far, Frank. Granted, you went too far. But remember that you forgave me when you realized that I was cheating on you. And when you knew that I had a daughter out there, you found it in your heart to forgive me. Why am I not to give you a second chance? What? Yes. You found it in your heart to forgive me. Yes. Yes. Yes, Susan. I remember that fateful day. Not minding how much I offended you. I came back and the table was laid with a banquet, beautiful dinner. You 
did not leave me. Susie, please, why don't you come back and let us have that bounty again and again as husband and wife with our daughter. I want to pack, honey. Don't go. Please. Come back. Let the past be the past. Let's start all over again. Please come back. Why do you descend so low? Try and try and try and give love and give love back. Oh, <laughs> give, love. give love, give love back and stop breaking, breaking hearts. She's a woman. So you be a good boy to your mom, okay? And make sure you take care of her. You know you're the man of the house. Good. Uh, okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Let me help you. Huh. Easy there. Uh -huh. Is that all? <laughs> yes, that's it. Oh. Jane, I can't believe both of you are finally leaving for the US. You both will be greatly missed. We're going to miss you too, cuz. But hey, if you take my advice and get yourself a wealthy benefactor who would be your baby daddy, then you could probably come and join us in Houston in your maternity leave. <laughs> you are just incorrigible, Jane. <laughs> okay, oh, don't take my advice. Huh, that reminds me, I have a letter for... for... for somewhere. I've explained everything he needs to know in this letter. Please give it to him. All right. I'll take it. Although I still think you're being unfair. But I see your mind is clearly made up, so I'll just keep my opinions to myself. Thank you, sweetheart. Paul, I believe this letter will explain better. I'm really sorry. I've got things to do inside, so you take care now. Hello, Bob. By the time you get this letter, I'll be on my way to the United States, where I intend to stay indefinitely with my son, Victor, and my baby when he's born. I know you must be devastated to learn that you may never set your eyes on Victor again. And you know what? That makes me very happy because finally you get to experience a little of the same hopelessness and anguish I felt when you betrayed me. But, well, who's laughing now? <laughs> Goodbye. Somewhere when there is lies to see and cheating everywhere, mm -hmm. even when it shouldn't be, oh, and has no reason to be. Oh, yeah, yet it is what could be a miss. Said, yet it is what could be a miss. Why is it so difficult to stay faithful? And so easy to be ungrateful You say you are loyal But you're so disloyal You say you are faithful But so unfaithful Every action has a reaction And repercussions 
nation So don't be surprised when you realize that She's a woman whose back's against the wall mm-hmm. And she doesn't want to fall So she has to stand tall hey. Or she could lose it all She will do all she can all she can Not to lose it all oh. Not to lose it all Not to lose it all Not to lose it all She'll do all she can Not to lose it all 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 she can Not to lose it all How can you really blame a person Who has given all they got And gets nothing in return When again and again You keep misbehaving And you keep running back apologizing 